we want to humbly welcome you to today's special occasion, the climax Thanksgiving service for our women in fellowship. <laughs> We are here today to honor you, our mothers, grandmothers, and great-grandmothers who blazed the trail for us with your commitment, determination, and faith. My dear sisters in Christ, in all the 40 years that the women's ministry of this church has survived and flourished, you have been the very embodiment of the team chosen for this occasion, caring for God's creation. The very existence of the women's ministry has created a platform for women to contribute towards the growth of the church and the achievement of its mandate. When women are given the opportunity to succeed, they can drive economic growth, improve education, and bring new perspectives to the table. They can be agents of change, innovators, and leaders. We need to step up for leadership responsibilities, cultivate abilities including communication, problem solving, and critical thinking. As women of faith, whether functioning as wives, mothers, sisters, and daughters, we must recognize that caring for God's creation is not only a moral imperative, but a sacred responsibility. Deborah and Ruth are fine examples of unwavering faith and loyalty in the Bible. And Aisha is an example of wisdom and strength of character in Islam. We are in an era where women must be strategically positioned to lead the way in maintaining peace in our election-related matters. Look around Africa. Count and countless lives shattered by election-related misunderstandings that escalated into violence. Let us learn from these tragic examples and choose peace especially as Ghana approaches its coming election. Let our voices be curious for unity and understanding, not violence, for all we have is Ghana. For four decades, you have provided a platform for women to find their voices, strengthen their faith, and contribute meaningfully to the well-being of our nation and our environment. It takes hard work and dedication to get here. It is not the work for the faith-hearted. Ayuko. Thank you. 